Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will talk about uh, the death of the leaders, the political leaders, particularly charismatic leaders. One of them was uh, the late president Jamal Abdel Nasser, who was extremely charismatic, dynamic, and visionary. And millions of people believed in him, loved him, and nearly worshipping him. He established what we call the socialist uh, union at that time, which was very powerful and very st- established also a very strong security system and, and, and. So it was some of his achievement was actually some of the uh, laws or the reform for the poor people, you know, education, free education, in uh, social welfare for the poor people and others and to be but actually on the other side he did not believe in any uh, opposition and in any sort of democracy Abdel Nasser died one day and when he died uh, millions of people including myself and my brother went went in his funeral to see uh, his burial Egypt was standing still. People were traveling from the south and north to the capital, Cairo, in millions. And the question came from my, el- my father to my elder uncle, asking him, will those people will ask forgiveness for Abdel Nasser and he will be granted heaven? My father and my uncle knew a lot of things that we did not know at that time. Why is all people at the time didn't speak up because their fate would be to put in jail, to be tortured. Because they have heard and seen many, many young men being put in jail, in detention, in concentration, nearly concentration camps, and disappearing and even dying in the prison. The second funeral was the funeral of a Sadat, which was, he was more lenient towards the, his people and he won the 1973 war and he was uh, the president of peace and brought peace to Egypt and was Israel and 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 all these sort of things but because of security reasons not many people at all came out only uh, officials came out in his funeral so when we look, when we look at the two funerals Abdel Nasser, the charismatic, with millions of people behind him, and the Sadat with no one behind him. So which one of them is going to go to heaven? According to what I believe, nobody will go to heaven unless Allah will ask him about the rights of the people upon him. Yani, if a president is ruling 20 million, so he will be asked about what he did for the 20 million. If you are a president or a chairman of an organization which is serving 1,000, Allah will ask you about the 1,000 people. If you are making zulm and eating the rights or taking the rights of your brothers and sisters, Allah will never let me and you go to heaven unless our brothers and sisters will give us the right to go to heaven. In another way, it's a high level accountability. So to be very honest, the only one who will know that is the creator who will bring all those millions of people in front of X and Y and Z president and they will ask him. And that's why Umar ibn al-Khattab was advising his son not to let anyone else from his family of Al-Khattab ibn Al-Khattab to become Amir or Khalifa of the Muslim because he is going to be, he made himself responsible for the birds, for the animals, for the water, for the mountains, for the road, and for the people. All this. That's why he knew the responsibility and the depth of the responsibility. That's why I understood the letter which was sent by my father to my uncle at the death, the time of the death of Abdel Nasser and the millions of people went behind him to be totally in the hand of Allah and the hand of the slaves of Allah 
who either will stand on his right and save him or will stand on his, uh, his left and will curse him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So please, brothers and sisters, be careful when you made a responsible for a group or for a community or for a department or for a ministry. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.